Okay, let's go ahead and see what we get. Worms Armageddon. Alright, uh, worms on Game Boy Color, well then. Alright. Just going to sort of dive in as soon as we can here. Because, you know, it's worms. What else is there to say? What do we have in options, I wonder? Mm. Yeah, your basic, um, all the things you would expect. Okay. No, not, uh, not as many choices as you usually have. Alright. And you can do your usual changing the worm names, so... Let's uh, have this be... How many letters can we do? Hmm. Let's see how to shorten it. About, um... Uh, midnight crew. That'll work. Change that. Fernand. And let's see. Um, put Spiffy in the team. And sure. Sophie. And who else? Anybody? No, n not not Kubo. <laughs> and purple. Uh, who are we facing? The armadillos, the townies, or the cowards? So it's a very weird V. Alright, let's face the townies. Um, yeah, again, with the lack of choices. I guess we will take the little island. Oh, and, um, jungle, moon, uncertain, desert. And again, with the freaking lack of choices. Wow. That's, um, yeah. Don't know what the thing in the middle is supposed to represent, though. Uh, let's go for... Let's find out what the hell this is. Oh, it's a hospital. Okay, never mind. I uh, don't care about that. Uh, moon, then. Actually, just for the sake of it, let's... Take a look at all of the various things. Yeah, that goes by really fast when we're in super speed. Well then. <laughs> Looks like worm placement is at least randomized, so looks like it is uh, the same landscape each time, but um, where each worm starts is different, so at least it has that going for it. Also kind of curious. Looks like even... 
This landscape is amazingly different from the others, even though that's been selected. Huh. Anyways, let's actually, uh, go ahead and get started here. Hmm. Don't know who that is. Now then, how do we... A button is jump, B button fires the weapon. Let's see. Start just pauses. Okay, A or B select weapon. Ooh, two dynamites, nice. Let's go ahead and go for it. Eh, nah. We'll just do the regular old. Oops. <laughs> Forgot that that was a possible thing. Hmm. Most damage to myself. thing. Let's just, um, be certain about that. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> no, no, no on the bazooka. Definitely not. What should we try? Also, this music is, um, I, I don't think I can even actually call this music. This is really more a series of blips. This is like in a sitcom where they have to, uh, you know, where, where they show a person playing a video game. This is like what they come up with. Let's get you someplace where you can actually uh, do something. Right over there seems like it should work. not so bad. Now, let's do that. Nope, carefully. Very nice. What the? <laughs> okay, so I guess a panda head Pez dispenser is the grave on the moon. Or, you know, an eyeball stalk. Either or. Let's see how my aim is. Terrible. Got that, um... There we go. Hmm, let's actually, um... See if we can't... Don't know if that'll do any more damage or not. Yeah, that's good. Sure, why not? Walk on over here and fire punch this guy to death. That should work. Alright, two down, two to go. It always lags on Brian, I have no idea why. Yeah, 
can't see what can we, uh, big grenade would work. Wow, there's such limited options in this game. It's really ridiculous. A big bit of, um, finessing. Oh, of course. <laughs> work, I think. Yeah, definitely good. <laughs> Keep at it, Rupert. You'll break on through eventually. And... Again, with just such ridiculously limited options. Don't know what I should do with this. Let's see, what is... And then a way to see his health. Yeah, screw it. I'll just, uh, skip go and let Rupert... <laughs> yeah. There you go. Rupert can break through and, you know... It would be kind of more interesting if the enemy actually used anything besides the bazooka, but, um... Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Oh, that probably ends my turn because damage taken. Yeah, forgot about that. It's okay. I'll just go ahead and do this instead. Be boring like the enemy. Okay, let's see what Rupert can manage to do, because it's pretty obvious what he's going to attempt, and that uh, did in fact open up the way there, so... off in style. <laughs> and that'll work. And yeah, um... <laughs> Let's see... I do wonder... Oh, it just immediately starts us off again. Sure, why not? Are we still facing the townies, or did it scroll us over to the next group to fight against, or what? No, hey, we are still facing the townies, so, um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's... Looks like it is a different layout, so, you know, that's something, but, um... I think we've had about enough Game Boy Color worms here. Because, I mean, seriously, this is the entirety of the game. And playing it single-player just isn't much fun, especially in a version in which you only have, what is it, uh... One, two, three, four, five freaking weapons, and I kind of seriously very much doubt that there will be any, like, unlockables, because, you know, sometimes to go in for that, but something tells me that, you know, this is it. This is the entirety. These are the limits for locations. These are the limits for weapons. Oh no, there are other ones, huh. I'll be damned, you can actually get, um, a number of other weapons. Huh. Kind of 
curious how to access those now. Oh well. Even so, no major deal, but um, still there are far better versions of Worms out there that you can play, and this is pretty much one of those games that is entirely meant to be played multiplayer and not single player, so yeah, that is about all we're gonna do here. This is not a version of Worms that I would recommend, like, at all for anything. <laughs> 